Hi everybody, Karen Roby here and Macy Barron for Tech Republic and we're talking about data security which is something Macy we talk about a lot All the time, yeah. with, with every industry really uh, impacted by the concerns and the healthcare industry specifically we're talking mm -hmm. about privacy is a huge deal uh, for everyone in this industry so how concerned should people be? Very. I mean the healthcare industry is probably one of the most at risk industries there are because they store and organize so much personal information. I mean, think about if you go in for a checkup, uh, what the forms you fill out the first time that you go to a, an emergency clinic, right? Everything. There's all, exactly. I mean, your address, your, you know, all of your personal information is, is stored in their systems. Mm -hmm. And with 100% of healthcare organizations using digital transformation initiatives, this puts us at a huge threat vector, especially because 38% or less of these organizations are using encryption methods. That's pretty scary. Oh, it's terrifying, mm -hmm. especially because we have all of these uh, data and privacy issues in industries where they are, they're encrypting at a much higher percentage than 38%, right. but this is one where the majority of people have their information in some sort of healthcare system. And that's scary. And, and one of the biggest ways that um, the healthcare industry are using digital um, transformation initiatives is through the multi-cloud or just mm -hmm. cloud in general. 80% of organizations are either storing, organizing, or managing information in the cloud. And so if that cloud were to be compromised in some way, right. everybody's information would be compromised as well. So, yeah. so that's a scary thing to think about. It's also hard because it's hard for for people to keep their own information secure when they don't even have control over it. Right. And you trust, I think exactly. that it is being Especially taken a care healthcare of. provider, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Right. And the other day, you know, actually uh, we were at the physician's office and on the forms, the long ones you were talking about mm -hmm. there, it even asked for social security numbers. Exactly. So we're exactly. About all really, of your personal data. Really personal personal information. Exactly. But but there are steps that that um, healthcare organizations can take. Right. Luckily. Okay. So um, some of those are fo focusing on all of these threat vectors and being aware of it. That's why it's helpful to write about these things and to get these things out in the open. That's why reading reports are helpful to, to see where these threat vectors are coming out the most. So being just aware of the threat vectors, of course, first. And then um, investing in modern, hybrid, and multi-cloud-based data security solutions that can scale to these modern architectures. Mm -hmm. Because having these these cloud solutions is is pretty normal in in most organizations, but you have to also have security measures that go along with them, mm -hmm. like anything. I mean, when right. you get a new computer, you're gonna wanna have some sort of um, either firewall or d different security solutions to go with that. Right. Um, and the third one would be to prioritize compliance issues, because compliance is, is a big issue um, in the United States, at least. And then um, also to adopt new data security strategies, including encryption and access management. And with only 38% of healthcare organizations adopting encryption, that that obviously needs to increase. And I'm sure, sure that those I'm sure that those organizations have had more success mm -hmm. um, with keeping data safe than those that don't encrypt information. So it's just being aware of these things and um, employing the correct solutions and investing those solutions that that organizations in the healthcare industry really do need to focus on. Yeah, and you know, we when you talk about the healthcare industry, of course, we hear so much about HIPAA. Oh, exactly. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I mean, that's why it's in place that people don't find out about your information, people you mm -hmm. don't want to. And and whether, and, and now we're at a point with technology that it, it isn't even word of mouth. It's not even trusting people, it's trusting the technology. Right. So there's only so much that we can do um, without putting the right security measures with technology in place. So unfortunately, you know, we hear about every industry is impacted by breaches, and mm -hmm. I know uh, at one point, I believe it was Aetna was one of the providers yes. that was hacked as well. So, you know, they're not immune, and unfortunately, this is an industry that has a lot of data. It is. It really is, and it, it's that which puts them at, at the most risk mm -hmm. compared to other industries. All right. Well, that full report and Macy's story, of course, can be found on Tech Republic. Thanks for watching.